I don't know what it is though. What do you think it is? What's up everyone, it's your favorite biting chick back on your screen with another vlog. It's been a minute, seven days to be exact. I wanted to take the first week to myself to kind of reset, ground myself. I'm a Northern neighbor looking over like, whoa. What do you guys think about what happened last week in the Capitol? That is cray. I straightened my hair for the first time in months and I'm in need of a cut, but salons are closed. Everywhere is closed. The gym is closed. So my Saturday session is gonna be a yoga practice. When I'm done, I'm gonna trim my hair because it's, whew. This side is also an inch shorter from the time that I cut my braids out. It's still lopsided. Socks, they make the best Christmas presents. Avocado toast. I want a really hard one because they get soft so quickly at home. Sounds good, right? I can't see it. I just missed the line. Can you see how long it is behind me over there? Woo! I didn't have to line up. I didn't have to line up. Can you believe the things we're happy about in 2021? You know when you go for one thing and you get more than one thing? That's me right now. I just made pretty much a Buddha bowl with quinoa, flax seeds, a whole bunch of mixed seasoned vegetables, and avocado. Morning, loves. It's a gloomy Saturday. No, it's a Sunday, actually. Woo, the weekend is gone. I'm going to head out in a bit to drop off this box at the post office to return some stuff. Then I'm going to go to a specialty grocery store. I'm not trying to play with my tummy today. It was hurting so much last night, which is why I didn't really check in with you guys. I'm so excited to cozy up, turn my heater on high because I like it hot AF in here and read this book called The Art of Flaneuring. Have you heard of it? It's really good so far. I hope I actually finish it. I have this bad habit where I don't finish books. I just can't. Reading on this phone, scrolling 400%, it's exhausting. The desertion in the city always trips me out. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. It's so weird. We in quinoa heaven. I have no idea where the spinach fettuccine is here. I never get used to this, never. Smallest haul of all. I miss the days when I would do a Zara haul a week, but New Year, new me. I was looking for this juice store that my cousin recommended called Revitasize, I think that's what it's called. I should have used the Google Street View to find it because I didn't know where it was. And when you're blind, knowing exactly what's next to it, what street it's on visually is easier than trying to think, well, what street am I on? I can't see the street sign. So instead, I just grabbed a couple juices as a case. A spicy ginger because that turmeric although traumatic the turmeric ginger is where it's at so i decided to grab that and just have it in the clutch in case we don't know how this tummy situation is going to go so i got some black rice because it's easy to digest as well as some tri-colored quinoa and i got a brownie because you know i needed a treat i don't believe in good and bad foods i hate that idea of like a cheat day but you can have a treat from time to time so that's what we gonna do. I don't wanna make for lunch. Like I didn't think this thoroughly. Togo P has it so easy, he just gets to chill here all day. Hey loves! What day is it? I don't even remember. Monday, right? Yeah, it's Monday. <laughs> I'm just on break from work. My head is clearly in the clouds. It is cold, but truth be told, it's not cold as usually it is around this time of year, so no complaints. I'm just gonna go on a nice little walk for my lunch break, because I need to get the body moving, like office jobs and sitting still. That ain't it. I look like a little masked up Eskimo over here. Whew. I wanted to come home for my lunch break. Why not? I got off at the wrong floor. 
that happens all the time. Usually I check in with you guys early on in the day, but I had a tough, rough morning and I don't want to just come on here and complain to you guys. So I'm happy in so much better spirits and high energy now. Having some hot chocolate, listening to a pod called Today Explained. Have you heard of it? Have you listened? It's so good. I was just thinking like, what do you want to see happen this year for myself? I definitely want a milli subscribers. It's been 10 years on YouTube. So if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, but I'm thinking more realistically, half a mil so 500,000 I think I can do that I just need to figure out what kind of content you guys want to see I've done everything over the last 10 years I've done the lookbook I've done the DIYs even a few makeup looks even though I can't see my own eyeballs blind tips life legally blind life hacks morning evening routine the skincare product reviews the tech review become a youtuber the how to edit with igtv or use final cut pro i've done so much i even did a whole abcs of nutrition's video series i don't know what it is though what do you think it is i was just talking about the puffing bird yesterday with my friend what the stepped up for a second to do two loads of laundry i just felt like it i hate laundry so when i'm in the mood to do it that means something anyway i'm gonna try to make some sea scallops tonight there's a couple words i want to take out of my what do you call it vocabulary the word is like the word is actually the word is anyway because i say those things every day look at this black rice though it's so weird la la I am so tired, but we're gonna come to live because it's Tuesday and I'm always hyped for a pod Tuesday. I need to come up with a better name than that. But on Tuesdays is when I do my Patreon pod and my regular pod. I'm so hyped, I already know what I'm talking about. I'm also gonna do double the matchas, double the pods, double the matchas. I have this matcha breaky, I don't know. I think that's what it says. And I'm gonna make a hot matcha too because I always have a matcha in the morning. I'm, I'm a matcha uman over here, yeah. That's about it. It's so dark when I was doing my makeup. I don't even know if I pulled the green or the blue liner. Can you tell which one it is? I guess it doesn't matter anyway. I don't want to be late for work. So let me just pack my snacks, my lunch real quick, and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. That's the first time I've ever been able to hear the construction. It's time to send the east side box. I'm kind of sad. Here we go. Goodbye, farewell. It has flammable stickers on there. Outfit of the day, there's a lot of green going on here. I'm wearing a green jumpsuit, green drink, green nails, green liner. Poison ivy vibes. Just about to leave home, almost stepped on it again. Another package from Case Me. I'll show you as soon as I get back. I gotta get back to work. The police forces bio officers and provincial workplace inspectors to issue tickets to individuals who do not comply with the stay-at-home order. Let's just shake it off. Nope, exactly the same. It's not glittery. At least they try it again for free. The session I finished, so necessary. After the day that we all had, with the second state of emergency be announced. <sighs> it's kind of like a sweet potato, but it's yellow. And then some salmon. Wait, this is not the website I was looking for. Or is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm posting another episode. I already did Patreon, now it's Anchor. I'm so grateful that I have this platform that I finally took the plunge and started posting a couple months ago. It's been on my mind to do for years, the same way YouTube took me years to do. I'm growing much faster than I ever did on YouTube. So maybe, maybe that's my niche, but you can always find me over there. Every Tuesday I post, it's my nighttime vibe. I got the can to go. Wednesdays used to be my favorite day of the week because why not? Who doesn't love hump day? But recently, it's been Tuesdays for me. Today, I'm working from home. I would have been working from home anyway, but especially since we don't know what's going on with the second state of emergency up in here. So I started to do some work. I did my yoga session, which 
can never replace my Wednesday morning gym sessions listening to the Joe Budden podcast. Never. I did my eyeliner wrong today. Is it just a me thing or is it actually looking wonky? For lunch today, I'm going to start off with Genius. This is one of the two green juices I tried, wow, almost two weeks ago. Time is flying. Before you know it, it's going to be the end of this month. I did a juice cleanse at the top of this month. Out of the two green juices in that cleanse, this one was at least drinkable. The other one, you saw my facial expressions in the vlog, you already know. So I'm gonna start off with this to get my digestive system going and then I'll make a meal that I prepped the other day. Whew. I'm glad that it's busy at work because sometimes I get a little anxious. Let me know if you're the same when there's not that much going on, especially when you're at home it kind of gets distracting. Like I've cleaned my house, I've reorganized a few things, I've started planning some stuff. So it's good to be in work mode when I'm working during the day, because especially being in a bachelor, everywhere I go, I'm here. Elon Kenobi, let's drop off the rent checks. What a trade-off, some rent checks for Cesaro package. This is actually a straight exchange. I got the wrong size for some Christmas gifts. When you see the Soul Psycho, the art galleries, the fancy car shops, we know you in the bougie car. I think this is pretty. I can't really tell what it is. Oh, it's a swan mache, ever. Two different coffee beans, coconut oil, because I want to start cooking with this, but I usually use this for my hair. Don't mind my nail polish. Problem number 62 is that when you blind, you can't see your fingernails. This is avocado oil because a recipe I was looking at calls for it. Summer honey. I need to sterilize this table because I hate putting bags that were on countertops in public places on my table. That's just a me thing. That's before the cocoa. This is the best granola. If you watched my what I eat in a week, I think I ate it by itself once just to try it, but it's definitely more of a top. Morning. It's Thursday. Does my hair look crazy? Because I haven't combed it yet. I feel like the Grinch. Remember when neons were a thing in the winter time? I feel like that was trending a couple years ago. I'm going to make my morning yacht matcha because that's always my morning mood. And then pack my snacks, my lunch and get to work. You can't just go anywhere for anything in this new state of emergency. So for the first time in a long time, I'm happy to be actually going to work to get out of my house. I'm probably gonna go run an errand too because the agenda I bought, I don't like. So I'm gonna try to get a different one. And I have to find out what went wrong with my return because I haven't got my money back on my account. Am I the only one who checks my credit card balance to make sure that when I return things to stores that the funds are correct? Looks like it's just me today. On. Do you see this? This is my weak attempt at trying to paint my own nails. Oh, I think it's time for me to let go of that old hobby. I used to love to take care of my nails, but I'm really just fighting against my visual impairment at this point. Match the ball. Nobody out there. Have a good day. Stay safe. They sent me a message maybe 20 minutes after I put the order in to pick up, but they had already closed. So I guess it was just, I don't know, they have staff working. I don't know. Who cares? Point is, I like this one way better because it has the gold foil. You can tell there's a whole theme here. Plant lady vibe. My concern when it comes to buying agendas is, of course, how it looks on the inside. I need to be able to see what I'm writing. And usually when the lines are like this, it's too small, but I might end up graduating to a Sharpie. You can see they're the exact same style inside. It's just bigger boxes for the months because more real estate to write on. Goodbye. Is it obvious that I took out half of the pages? Get a to 2020. I kind of like these sayings though. Definitely a theme. <laughs> I should get the nasty award for wearing a mask during a Zoom conference. Can you tell Police watching my work now, what the hell? Black bean fettuccine with tomatoes, porcini, and 
plate mushrooms. Morning loves, I'm just about to do my morning sesh. During my breaks, sip some of this. Eh. You on your grind when you have to use your lunch time to try to film a video. The hustle is real. Finished another Zoom call. There were some technical difficulties because it wasn't working on the remote version, so I had to switch to the Mac version, but then they were talking about using it on well, it doesn't even matter, we're done. <laughs> And we're almost done the day too. What? <laughs> I used to wear my hair like this every single day for a good five years. I don't know about it. I feel like the five head's too strong. <laughs> I went grocery shopping. I'm making this into a sport the way I be grocery shopping every day. Well, almost every day this week. It's kind of crazy. I've never been this often, but I think it's because I went to so many different shops to get so many different things. But this time I got some stuff for tonight's dinner and to tie me through next week. So I don't want to go grocery shopping at all next week. Another one. Okay, I think next week I'm going to challenge myself to not watch any YouTube. I watch way too much YouTube. I have a book that I started writing in October 2018. It is now January 2021. So I think if I take a break from watching other people's content and focus on my own and my book, then I can get up to date. I've gotten a little bit too comfortable with this whole quarantine and chill thing. Dun, dun, ba, da, dun, ba. Hey, tell me this doesn't look nasty. I don't even know if I'm coming or going with this dish. I put cilantro and flax seeds on top of my cow soy, and I also added some chickpeas to switch it up from the last time I showed you. Overflowing. yoga meditation tea spicy turmeric and a hot shower that's actually a lot is a wrap i finished my first sitting and talking to the camera video of 2021 it feels so different now that i have zero f's to give i used to be so conscientious like oh the light's coming in the blinds are on my face my hair is a mess not every strand is in place and it's out of focus all of those things happen in this video you'll see I've been editing so that I can get this video up in time. So I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know by hitting the like button. I'm also going to start editing the other video that I was doing earlier today. So both should be up by the time you're watching this. I hope that you are well in spite of everything that's going on. I hope that January 2021 is just flushing out 2020 and that going forward, things are gonna get brighter and better. So until next week, AKA tomorrow for me, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.